What's up, YouTube? So, you went ahead and you downloaded Warzone like I did because I wanted to play with some friends. Then you try to load the software. You try to open the game. You try to you hit that play button. Let me show you that play button. This infamous play button right here. Move myself out of the way. You try to hit this play button right here. Then you wait with anticipation as the game starts to load. Not you get this error instead. The Windows 7 operating system is not supported by Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And then you're like, wait a minute though. Let's do a system info over here. <laughs> he said, wait a minute. According to this log, I got Windows 10. Right? <laughs> Yo, I've been struggling with this for like four weeks. I'm, I kid you not, I've been looking at every YouTube videos, I've been Googling and I've been on Reddit, I've been trying to find the solution. I finally got it to work, and I'm going to show you guys how. Right now, my error has changed. This is a screenshot of what I used to get, right? Now I get this. Let me hit play. Y'all can see. Give it a second. Similar error. Very similar. Boom. Right there. Now I get this, okay? <coughs> That's what I get. And if you hit yes, it brings you, it opens up this website and yada, yada, yada. All right, a couple of things I've already done from watching all those thousands of videos is I went ahead and I did my, um, uh, did my Windows update. So you find your Windows update. Let me, let me move myself out the way so y'all can see this real quick. All right, uh, you type in Windows. Uh, update and you can check for update or just go right to the settings menu to find this but boom and then my windows update you come in here and you you'll see about the scan for update this is about some uh, antivirus stuff so i probably um, should download that as well and get it all set up but this will be i guess the most time consuming part maybe just i made sure all my stuff was updated just go ahead and run your update see you're all updated right that was step number one. So, all right, so I have a little checklist here. Follow with me and I promise you, yours will work just like mine is going to. Mine, I've, I've recreated the problem because I have now found the fix, all right? So um, first thing, we check for that Windows update. Let me just check this off. Update your stuff, all right? So let me just mark it. Boom, done. Update that stuff. Just, just I'm not sure if that's what fixes it, but I feel like I did that and it I remember it not working even after I've done that. But it's good to, to do because I feel like there's a couple of things that plays into why this doesn't work. Next is your drivers. <coughs> um, if you can, find a free tool if you can online that can scan and update your drivers or do it manually. But um, I say want to make sure that maybe it's you want to target mainly your um, graphic card, I think, is the most important one there. And, of course, um, I have the uh, GeForce Experience here um, that I also used. I also went ahead and got, because, I mean, I was desperate in making this thing work. I went and got this up here. It's called uh, Driver Easy. It wasn't, it isn't free. But this driver easy the cool thing about it is i just hit scan it cost i think it was like 29 dollars. so if you if you got it in the bank i should just get in this not just for this issue but like period just overall computer maintenance get this tool 
um, I'll try to leave a link in the description. Maybe I can find like some some sort of affiliate so you hook a brother up since I'm trying to help you out anyways. Um, and everything is updated. Like what it would do, like it would show a button and you just hit update if you paid for it. And then you just like let it go. And it does like everything. Do, 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 do. And you're done. That's why I kind of went ahead and like, oh, okay, I'm going to just pay for this. It's, it's like a one-time thing. And I'm, and I'm Gucci. So um, I got this and I use this to update my driver. So update your drives. Boom. Step one. Um, another thing, right, is folder read only. So here is the deal. Uh, you come to the battle net. You click on show in uh, Explorer. And the thing about this is that this is on my, my drive D. So what I have happening here is I got my local drive, you know, you got your operating system install. I got a drive that I call my big drive and I got games. And on this, you know, I got my Overwatch, I got my Modern Warfare. This is where I put my games. So if you're like me, you have your games on a different drive. Um, it's important to do this. It's important to do this regardless, all right? So what I meant by um, read only is that I come in here, I click on this folder and I go to, I right click, go to properties, I go to here where it says read only <coughs> and I uncheck this because I don't want to make it read only and I tell it to apply it to, to the folder and all of the subfolders too. So I want the computer to have full access to this folder. So if you go in here now um, and I try to change this to read only, um, I just, I did the main one and then all the other subfolders that lead up to the game. So if I if you go again right here, uh, show in Explorer, it will show you exactly where the folder is, and I mark that as read only, and the game is right here. So read only, boom, done. Next thing I did, dudes, you're, you're not gonna like this one, but delete, and then I repair. So what I did is in this folder, right? You see me right here in this folder. I legit highlighted all of this. All of this I kind of left the folders honestly but I highlighted all of this and I deleted it I absolutely deleted it I'm not gonna do it now cuz uh, it takes a little time to repair but I delete all of this trust me on this I delete all of this then you come here scan and repair it will um, the the battle net client here will scan and see that there's folders and file missing. Missing, can't even talk. And it will reinstall those things, brand new. Do it. Like, if you're gonna get this to work like I get it to work, you might as well just follow the step the same way I did them, all right? I'm about to show you. Do this, boom, boom, boom. Give it a second, a minute, depending on the, uh, the speed of your uh, internet. Then that's done. All the files are back. That was the last step. Um, that was now we're on to the last step. That was the, the, the second, the last. Um, the last step. Now we're back in the folder. <coughs> These folders are now back, so we're back in the folder. Now this is the Modern Warfare uh, launcher, right? This one right here. But this is the actual game. So two things you want to do: you right-click on the launcher, go to properties go to compatibility and this was checked for me it might not be checked for you uncheck it apply go next to the modern warfare itself properties compatibility again and you see this is checked for me this it, it comes like that I'm not sure why it's coming like that but it's causing a problem uncheck this again it says for Windows 8 hit apply and boom all five steps done at this point it's always good to do a uh, I'm not gonna save this it's always good to do a restart but you can see now if I hit play I can see if I hit play any minute now. <laughs> Sorry about this thing being slow. Um, this is why it says 
changes system blah blah, blah 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 what this means is you should actually like i'm saying you should do a restart but i'm choosing not to that's why this is popping up i i strongly recommend you do a restart but if i hit no you see i'm going right into the game so the first time this is actually loading up and then um here comes the game all right <laughs> So I see guys, like I was trying to say, um, do the restart, do the steps I did, and you'll be good to go just like I did. Um, the only thing I didn't do here was the restart, because I'm recording, I don't want to have to restart, but restart right after that last step, and boom, see, it works. I'll catch you in the next one, hopefully this helps you, man, because I've been struggling with it, so I figured, yo, I need to share this with, with somebody else, like, alright, so appreciate a like or subscribe if this helps you.